hello guys welcome back to good show tips and in this video we gonna talk about how to fix far cry 6 which is released on steam last day is having crashing issue it is not launching it is won't launch freezing and stuttering low fps drop stuck on loading screen and even the black screen issues which is happening for many of the users and how we can fix this up so i'll be providing a detailed video right now so just uh, try out all the steps in this video that's gonna work for you guys you can try this out so let's start with a simple one so first before getting to the bigger steps the first thing you have to do as the basic one is all about you have to do a simple restart on your pc or the laptop that is what you have to try as the first one this is actually a simple step and it's a basic step so for that just go over here in the start icon over here just click on this icon over here go for the restart once restart is successfully done just try to play the game and that is what you have to do so try with a simple restart i'm not gonna say this is gonna work for sure but this just start with a simple restart this did work it for many users for many games so try with this if this is not working we have to move to the next one that is all about we need to verify integrity of game file for that just go over here on the game right click and go to the properties now from here go to local files over here click on verify integrity of game file so what happens is when you click on this one if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular step and this is what you have to do so verify integrity of game file is actually an important step which you have to try out and if any file in files are corrupted and if any files are missing all these kind of issues will be fixed by this one so the game is around 171.03 gb so i'm gonna skip this up just click on this one so you'll be getting a uh, uh this will be vanished and you'll be getting another one so once the verify integrity of game file is 100 percentage you'll be getting the play button once again so just click on the game and try to play the game and that is what you have to do moving to the next step is all about we need to launch the game from the installation folder for that we just need to go over here we have two methods one we can launch the game from the steam itself so i'll be showing you which is a shortcut so right click over here go to the properties go to local file click on browse now from here just go to this one and now we need to launch the game and that is going to work for you so just try to launch the game from here that is going to work for you as well so if you don't uh, if you apart from this there is one more step which i said which is actually not a shortcut so this is which is actually quite a lengthy one so just go over here on this pc go to local disk c go to program file x86 go to steam apps keep scrolling down and navigate to steam go to steam apps go to common now from here go to far cry 6 now from here go to bin now from here you just need to click on this one and launch the game and that is going to work for you as well this is what you can try out as well this did work out for many users as well once you launch the game try to play the game and that is going to work for you as well moving to the next step even after trying if still it's the issue is there and if you wanted to fix the issue all you have to do is just follow the same instructions over here moving to the next one next one is all about we need to run the game as an administrator this did work out for many users and you can try this out for that we can move to same way we can either use the shortcut or we can navigate to the file explorer in this so i'll be using the shortcut so just click on the game right click over here go to the properties now go to local file click on browse now from here you will be getting to this now just open this one and this is the application of far cry 6 right click over here go to show more options go to properties go to compatibility now from here go to run this program as an administrator now go for apply and go for ok and that is what we have to do so why apply and ok so most probably for many of the users when they run the game as an administrator this did work it in my knowledge as well as i have did cross check some of the uh, reddit and the forums as well so running the game on administrator this did work it so you can try this out as well even after running the game as an administrator even if you're having the issue the next one is all about we need to launch the game in the compatibility mode for that just go over here right click and go to show more options go to properties go to compatibility now from here click on compatibility mode run this program in compatibility mode change it from windows 8 to windows 7. so first go to windows 7 go for apply and see whether the issue is solved or not if that is not working change this to windows 8 and try with this apply and make sure this is going to work as well try with windows 7 as well as windows 8 any one of the thing will be working and even after trying both the thing is still not working then we just have to move to the next step 
And before moving to the next step, make sure you have to uncheck this. You have to uncheck the compatibility mode. Keep run this program as an administrator. It should uh, like this. Just uncheck this and go for apply and go for OK and try to play the game. That is going to work for you like as it is. Moving to the next step is all about we need to uh, change the language of Windows. So right now, as you can see, I'm on English language on the uh, Windows over here. And for you, if it's not the case, you just have to change it. So just go over here in the search. We need to go to settings. Now, if you go to time and language, go to the language and region. Make sure the language is English. Some of you guys might be using any native language like Germany. You might be depending on Arabic. You might be depending on Chinese. You might be depending on any other countries or any other languages. So if that is the case, just go over here, click on add language. And if you wanted to search for English, just search for the language English like this and add the English. Once you're done with this, you'll be getting the English language. And keep in mind, if we have additionally one step. Just go back and go to the date and time. Make sure the time and time zone should be correct. This should be correct in the same. You have to select this one and make sure the location which you selected over here in the region should be correct because I'm from India. So I have to select the India. So geography should be correct. And this is what you have to do. Once after that, just go back and see whether the issue is solved or not. And if and still it's persisting, we have to move to the next one. That is, we need to launch the game and we have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. So just click on the play button. But when you click on the play button, at the same moment, you have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. This did work out for many users in my, in my knowledge for games like Dead Space, Last of Us and many other games. So you can try this out as well. So just click on the play button and press Alt and Tab together from the keyboard while hitting on the play button and that is going to work for you as well. Moving to the next step is all about we need to delete it, the saved game file for that we just need to go over here in the file explorer go to this PC over here if you go to the documents you will be able to find the folder on Far Cry 6. Right now I haven't saved anything so when you auto save is enabled you will be getting the folder over here so just, just delete the respective folder. Keep in mind, you'll be losing all the progressions, but that is fine. Even the step did, uh, step is worth a lot. So just delete the folder. Once after that, just go back and try to play the game. Next one is all about, we need to allow the game to Windows security. For that, we just need to go over here in the search. Now from here, we need to go to control panel, go to Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, go to allow an app or feature through Windows Defender. Now from here, we need to scroll down and search for Far Cry. So keep scrolling down and over here you'll be able to find Far Cry 6 is there and make sure the private and public should be selected and this is what you have to do. Once you select this one, make sure this is being selected and once after that just go for hello another app, go for browse, now from here go to this PC, now go to local disk C, now from here if you don't know how to add it by default this is what I'm showing, just click on the browse, go to lo this PC local disk C. Now go to program file x86, keep scrolling down and navigate to steam folder. Now go to steam apps. Now from here go to common. Now from here go to far cry 6 and from here go to bin and select this one and add it. So it's already added so I'll be getting the error. So once it's added, you, have, you don't have to do like this. If it's not added, just add it once again and once after that just go back and try to play the game. Next one is all about, we need to unplug all the USB devices. So some of you guys might be playing the game with controllers connected or your USB ports will be completely filled with headset, joystick, mouse, Logitech wheels, uh, you know, Hotas wheels, etc. might be connected or even you might be playing the game in the multiple monitors. If that is the case, just remove everything from the USB ports and keep it clean and you have to remove everything. Once you launch the game, after removing everything, launch the game. Once you launch the game, if you wanted to play the game with the controller, just connect the controller back once after that and try to play the game and that is going to work for you as well. Moving to the next one is all about, you just have to move to the next step. Next step is all about, we need to uh, perform a clean boot. For that, just go over here in the search, go to uh, system configuration, go to services. Now from here, make sure you have to hide all Microsoft services, go for disable all. It is actually grayed out because very recently I did this for another game. So once after that, go for apply and go for OK. Sometimes it might ask you for a restart. If restart is asking, just do the restart and launch the game once again. If the restart is not asking, uh, fine with it. But if the restart is asking, question exit without a restart or restart, the computers will be there. So if that is the case, just go for restart. Once restart is being done, try to play the game and that is going to work for you as well. Next one is all about, we need to disable the Steam overlay. For that, just go over here, right click and go to the properties. 
now frame here you have to make sure this should be enabled i mean this should be unchecked that means it is disabled once after that try to play the game and after that even it's still not working we have to give few commands in the launch option the first command is dx11 try with dx11 if dx11 is not working change the commands to dx12 and try with the dx12 so dx11 or dx12 will be working out so once after that remove everything from this and launch the game as well that is going to work for you as well next one is all about we need to do is we just need to move to the next one that is we need to uh, run the game on dedicated graphics card for that we just need to go over here in the search we just need to go over here in the search and we need to go for graphics settings now from here we just need to keep scrolling down and we need to find whether the game is added so right now the game is not added so just click on the browse now from here go to local disk c go to program file x86 keep scrolling down and navigate to steam folder now go to steam apps now go to common now from here go to far cry 6 and you have to select bin select this one and add it so once you successfully added it you just need to go for options and make sure this will be by default this will be let windows decide which is one of the reason why you are having crashing issue change this to high performance so once you save this to high performance and save it close everything and go back and try to play the game this particular step is going to work for you in my opinion this did work it for many other games and many users recommended in the comment section so i'm trying out this step as well here it is Moving to the next one is all about we need to close all the overlay applications which I'll show you right now. So just go over here in the task manager. Now go to the task manager and if you go to the task manager it is quite visible as you can see there are 79 apps which is running in the background. So these things really uh, uh, is actually these things are causing the issue for crashing, freezing and stuttering, not launching, won't launch all these issues. So what we need to do is if you find this over here what you need to do is just need to do very simple if you find this if you uh, we have two reasons why this is there are overlay applications as well as overclocking application which is causing this issue so if you scroll down you will be able to see discord which is actually a cat comes under the category of overlay applications and if you find discord here just right click over here and go for end the task and once you did this you just go back we have to go back and we have to see or look for another one that is overclocking applications one of the main reason why this is issue is happening is because of overclocking application for example like revert loader msa afterburner all these comes under the category of overclocking applications and if you find anything over here msa afterburner revert loader etc you have to delete it i mean you have to end it up from here which is one of the main reason and discord if you find discord like which is comes under the category of overlay application which is one of the main reason as well so just remove it from the task manager once after that just close everything go back and try to play the game and that is going to work for you as well next one is all about we need to increase the virtual memory for that we just need to go over here in the search go for view advanced system setting go for advanced go for settings once again advanced once again go for change now frame here in the virtual memory make sure this page should be unchecked if you select this one you will not be able to select the local list so uncheck this go for custom size give the value for initial size it is 1.5 times the total ram the maximum size is 3 times the total ram first we need to know what is the ram so the ram of my computer is 32 gb so i have to do the calculator i have to do calculation so first i have to multiply 32 gb into 1024 so 1024 is actually a constant value just multiply your ram with 1024 that brings you 32168 so i have to multiply it with 1.5 that brings you 49,152. Now I have to uh, do this and go for next one that is maximum size. Uh, that is next one is maximum that is 32 GB into 1024. That brings you 32,160. So I have to multiply it with 3. That brings me 90,304. So I have to copy this and I have to paste it as well. Now I have to go for OK and try to play the game. Once after that, running up the virtual memory or increasing the virtual memory did work it so you can try this out as well moving to the next one is all about we need to update the windows for that just go over here in the search go to settings now from here go to windows update make sure windows is up to date and that is an important step once after that just uh, update the windows and make sure it is once it is done just go back and try to play the game next one is all about we need to update the graphics card for that just go over here in the search go to uh, both the thing so I'm, i'll be providing both uh, nvidia as well as amd so if you're on the nvidia just go over here select every details and go for start search 
Once after that, you will be getting the latest version that is 531.7, which is the latest one, which is released on a fifth. And just download this one and install this it on your PC. Restart your PC and try to play the game. If you're on the AMD, just go over here, select every details from here. Go for AMD and you will be finding the details from here. So if you're, uh, you'll be getting two options for Windows 11 as well as Windows 10. So if you find Windows 11, just go for Windows 11. Uh, if you're on Windows 10, go for Windows 10 and try to uh, uh, in install it on a PC, restart the PC and try to play the game. Even after trying, still not working, we have one more step that's called installing the Microsoft Visual C++. This did work it for many users, so I'm gonna recommending you, you can try this out. So just go over here in the Microsoft Visual C++, so I'll be providing link in the description that will take you to this. Now from here, keep scrolling down and download for x64. Just download this one and install this on your PC. And once after that, try to play the game. And that is what you have to do. Once you're done with this one, try to play the game. So uh, restart your PC, that is a mandatory. And once after that, see whether the issue is solved or not. Even if it's still not working, even if you're still having the issue, the next one is uninstall the game and reinstalling it back. But when you're doing this, keep in mind, you can uninstall the game, just go over here, manage, go for uninstall the game. While you're reinstalling it back, keep in mind, you have to install the game back, not on the same local disk, you have to change the local disk. The position of local disk should be changed once after that, try to play the game. So these are the possible workarounds which you can try out. And I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.